Is it time to repaste or repad your laptop? This is Snark with Snark's Domain, and today I'm going to show you guys one option that you could go with uh, if you decide to do so. So stay tuned. So back in February of 2022, I decided to buy a Gigabyte Aorus 15P YD gaming laptop. Uh, it's got a 3080 that's rated 230 watts TGP. And I went to work for a month overseas. And then when I came back, I quickly took it apart and did a putty job on it. So at the time I used TGPP10 um, everywhere where there was thermal pads like the VRAM, VRMs, etc. And then on the CPU and core, uh, GPU core, I used Thermal Grizzly's Cryonaut Extreme and it worked really good but uh, after a year it, the thermal paste had dried out a bit definitely on the CPU side of things. So I did a quick test with uh, 3D Mark and I used Speedway which looking back wasn't the best test to use because it's just only runs for a couple minutes so you know things shouldn't even get that hot but already you guys can see the CPU got up to 92 degrees Celsius uh, the GPU temperature was at 62.3 Celsius, and the hotspot on the GPU was 69.6 Celsius. This was with an ambient temperature of 24 degrees Celsius. So I took the laptop apart and cleaned it up. And here you can see a picture of like how messy the TGPP10 looks. Um, I scraped most of it off with a, a little plastic um, thermal paste spreader, and then I just cleaned the rest with uh, Q-tips toothpicks if I need to, and toothbrush, and isopropyl alcohol. And uh, let's get some close-ups here. So this is the contact patch of the cooler against the GPU die. And you can see a little dry spot there uh, in the middle, but otherwise it's got decent contact. So it's still like wet looking for the most part, but it's, it was definitely drying up a little bit. And then on the CPU, you can see it's pretty much completely baked. When it looks chalky like that in the middle there, um, that's not good. So yeah, the CPU is definitely needed to be repasted way sooner than, than what I did. So I cleaned everything up as far as I wanted to. I could have gone further with uh, toothpicks cleaning between the VRAM, but I this was, for me, this is acceptable. I'm, I'm not worried about the putty doing any damage or anything but you could go further and clean it up better if you if you wanted to and here we've got the application of updriver ux pro thermal putty which i just rolled with uh, gloved hands and then kind of cut to length and, and put in place where i needed it and then on the cpu and the gpu core i'm using honeywell ptm 7950 the sheet specifically i'm not using the syringe type that stuff is very difficult to spread, I find. So here you see an up close shot of the CPU with the phase change material on it. And there's the GPU die. You can kind of see a couple little bubbles there. So I wouldn't even call this a perfect application. Um, I should have spent a little more time pressing out those bubbles with my fingers. So when you apply this, I'll just show you a video here. Um, you, you can peel off the first film side and you you lay it down on the cpu and then the same with the gpu i'm just using tweezers there to to handle it just kind of tap it in place a little bit i'll do that with the the gpu core as well you definitely want to put this stuff in the fridge for about 30 minutes before handling it makes it a little bit easier to handle and then you just kind of like rub it in place. Now I should have maybe even taken like a credit card or something and, and just sort of like gone over it a few times, but um, I'm sure that's why there's a couple of air bubbles because I didn't do that. And you just use a tweezers to peel that second film off the top. If you don't peel that off, you're gonna have really bad thermal results for sure, so. Yeah, and then uh, let's see. Then I went and did another stock setting test with uh, 3D Mark using Speedway. 
And this test wasn't great, uh, but it was definitely an improvement. The CPU core was at 76 degrees Celsius max, and the GPU was 68.2, but the hotspot was actually quite hot initially, 81.8 degrees Celsius. That's, that's really hot. You know, at first I was like, did I just mess up? Was this like a mistake? But PTM takes a little while to heat up and kind of, well, turn into a liquid basically at 45 degrees Celsius. And then it kind of flows. And over time, it actually gets better, better contact and kind of like it kind of presses out a little bit as much as it needs to. So after running this for a few hours, and I did a couple of time spy things, but uh, I did a sixth run with stock settings, same ambient temperature, 23.5 Celsius. And this time the CPU maxed out at 74 degrees Celsius. Uh, the GPU was at 67 Celsius and the hotspot was down at 74. So you can see just in the span of what would have been a couple hours, it already improved drastically. Um, I would say a lot of the improvement happened even in the first 30, 40 minutes. So then I went and used it for the next five weeks, which brought us to about a couple days ago here. And I ran some tests again. And now this is with uh, air conditioning installed in our house. So the temperature is uh, one degree cooler. But you can see the CPU is now topping out at 67 degrees Celsius. Uh, the GPU is at 56.1 and the hotspot's at 62.3 Celsius. Now, that's a really short test. It only takes, what, it's looking like two, three minutes tops. So that's not a great test. So then I did a 1.5 hour loop of time spy. And then at the end of the loop, when you exit out of it, it doesn't really spit out a benchmark. So then I quickly ran a single um, benchmark test of time spy. And this was at 21 degrees Celsius ambient, so keep that in mind. But the CPU only got up to 76 degrees Celsius, and the GPU was at 64 Celsius, and the hotspot 70.1. So that's not even, that shouldn't really be throttled at that point, um, which I think is, is great. So, yeah, it, it worked really well. I then went and did a, uh, a CPU undervolt, just an offset of minus 40 millivolts. So I've got my BIOS unlocked on this laptop and I overclocked the GPU plus 200 megahertz to the core, plus 500 megahertz to the memory, uh, fan at 100% like always with the laptop tests, uh, ambient temperature 22.6 degrees Celsius, and my CPU topped out at 62 degrees Celsius. Uh, the GPU was at 57.3 and the GPU hotspot was 63.3. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. Um, it's supposed to last a lot longer than a thermal paste. So, you know, I shouldn't have to redo this, this laptop for a long time unless I want to maybe test something else out. But I think for the laptop, I'm just going to leave it. You know, it's not something I want to keep taking apart all the time. I don't mind doing GPUs. For testing but uh, I think I'll just leave the laptop alone probably. That's all I got for now. Uh, thanks for checking out my video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.